Hi everyone, welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm Lucy and I'm here today to talk to you about the key trends for spring 2020 and the patterns and the fabrics you can use to recreate those on-trend looks. I'm so excited about this video. I've had so much fun at doing the research for it and I'm happy to report it wasn't difficult at all to pick out some of the key trends that I really like and I would love to make this season. There's so many out there that I think are genuinely wearable and that's what my focus is always on in these videos. I want to help you to create a handmade wardrobe that you're genuinely going to feel comfortable in, you're going to wear, it's going to fit into your lifestyle and I feel that all the pieces that I've chosen today tick all of those boxes. So I'll show you one of the key looks and then I'll show you the pattern and the fabric that you could use to recreate that look. And as always, all the links to everything I mentioned today are below and there's also a link to our website below where you'll find all of it, but I'll link the individual products below for you to make life really easy. So let's get started with the first trend that I noticed, which is that ruffles and those pretty feminine details, frills and that sort of thing, they're here to stay, guys. They're not going anywhere. I spotted them on dresses, skirts and blouses, but the blouses are the ones I wanted to talk about because I think I've already got one ruffle blouse that I made in my wardrobe and I love wearing that in the spring. Um, and I just think it is a nice, easy, wearable um, item. You can pair it with jeans if you want a relaxed dress down day, but then you can wear it with a skirt as well. Um, but the difference, the slight little tweak on the trend I noticed this year, which I love and I think was a really interesting idea, is that there's lots of denim shirts out there with the ruffles on. So um, denim shirts or denim blouses, with, which are quite sort of masculine in some respects, but then with these ruffle details and balloon sleeves and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I really like that trend. It, I saw it worn with double denim. I saw it in multiple high-end, um, high street stores that I really like and I thought that the pattern you could use to recreate that look or something similar would be McCall 7900 and this is a great pattern because it also comes with cup sizes if you haven't ever used one of these patterns before there's different cup sizes for an A and B cup a C cup and a D cup which is great for getting a really good fit I've used them before and they're fantastic um, and this blouse is a button down blouse which is very much a trend at the moment as well. Um, it's got a lovely neckline on it. I think it's, I'm not sure if you call it a jewel neckline. Somebody will put something in the comments and enlighten me, I'm sure. But it's a lovely, it's, it's sort of like a sweetheart there, but then it's square at the top. And then you've just got the options to create frilly sleeves or a bit of a ruffle on the shoulder. Um, there's sort of a balloon sleeve option where the sleeves balloon out a bit, which is another massive trend this season. I saw that everywhere. Um, and yeah, I just think that would work really well to recreate this look. And the fabric I would suggest is this gorgeously soft shirting fabric. So it looks like a denim or a chambray. It's a shirting fabric. And so it's even softer than a chambray. It really is super, super soft. So it's, this is in the patterned woven section of our website. As I said, I'll put links to these individual products below, but I thought that would be lovely for that feminine um, look. And then we've also got a couple of chambrays as well. We've got like a really light coloured one and one that's slightly darker coloured than this as well. Um, so yeah, you'll find those on the website. And then the next look that I looked at was um, dresses. So there's a lot of midi length dresses out there still. Lots of midi length shirt dresses, lots of midi length wrap dresses. Um, there's also maxi sort of peasant style dresses out there. So like your Wilder Gown tight look, which I know I've talked to you guys about a lot before. We sell the Wilder Gown pattern on our website. Um, I saw denim versions of that sort of look. Um, and there was lots of like cornflower bluey type, lots of shades of blue that I noticed, lots of cornflower blues, navy blues, and then there were some gorgeous emerald greens as well on the dresses um, so lots to get excited about there but the look that I chose was a beautiful um, polka dot which is another massive trend for the spring a polka dot midi length shirt dress but it was sort of a fairly flowy casually shirt dress it wasn't a stiff sort of um, cotton shirt dress you know it was quite a flowy shirt dress 
um, and I really like that look it was paired with um, little white ankle boots and I saw lots of similar looks to that I thought that's really wearable polka dots are a key trend as well I love a midi dress I've only got one in my wardrobe so I need to get some more in there and as luck would have it McCall's just brought out their brand new range of patterns and um, which all went straight on our website straight away and McCall's 8031 or the Alexis dress as they're calling it I thought would work brilliantly for this look um, so it's a shirt dress there's options for patch pockets um, on the bust it's buttoned down obviously there's a waist tie option um, there's also an option for a shirt style slit at the side of the dress as well so it's and it's definitely designed for using with flowy drapey fabric so they've suggested crepes cotton blends sateen that sort of thing and on the image you can see they've used a very flowy drapey fluid fabric so I thought it would work really well for this look I thought it was very modern looking shirt dress pattern and the fabric I would use to nail that polka dot um, style would be this crepe this popcorn crepe it's called um, so it's a polyester fabric it's a crepe um, but it's just a classic navy and white polka dot but lots of nice fluidity and movement in that and I just think it's a really nice way I love a classic navy and white polka dot but instead of going for um, a sort of more traditional look with it I think it's nice to mix it up with that more modern um, design of the shirt dress um, and then that just updates that classic polka dot and gives it a fresh new look so um, yeah I'd really like to get that in my wardrobe as well I want everything um, now the next trend I spotted um, that I saw everywhere as well I sort of um, mentioned it when I talked about the denim shirts and blouses was the balloon sleeve trend so there were lots and lots of sort of pull-on t-shirt tops often with a scoop neck um, and then like a balloon sleeve that went into a cuff or elasticated um, hem at the at the wrist or on your arm um, and I just thought what a great look what a really good way like a nice quick easy make that's comfortable to wear because I'd want to make it in jersey um, or stretch fabric um, I could just chuck it on with a pair of jeans but thanks to the balloon sleeve it would feel a bit more dressy so I could wear it if I was going out somewhere but then I could just wear it to work as well and just day to day um, I think the balloon sleeve would just give it a bit of drama but at the end of the day it's a glorious t-shirt so it wouldn't feel massively dressy and also the fact that I love the sleeve trends that have been around the last few years but I think sometimes in woven fabrics they can be a bit awkward because you can't get a jacket on over them if there's too much volume in the sleeves they're not that practical whereas a jersey version of that would be totally practical and would go on under your jacket so um, I really like this trend and again a quick easy make something that I definitely want to whip up and just get in my wardrobe and the pattern I thought that would be ideal for this is the Adrian blouse by uh, the Friday Pattern Company so it's got a scoop neck um, it's designed for jersey and knit fabrics it's got a bit of gathering at the shoulders there the balloon sleeves and then just a gathered elasticated hem it looks like um, on your arms and um, we've got a beautiful range of plain jersey fabrics that I could use that I thought you could use for this which is our John Caldor ritual fabrics um, come in a massive range of colours there's a nice like sunshiny yellow which I thought would be quite nice for spring but one of the other key trends that I spotted was ditzy florals and I thought this I've had my eye on this fabric for ages and I've wanted to make something with it but haven't like had the right idea but I think this is it I think if you made the Adrian blouse in this and paired it with some lovely indigo jeans oh god it would just look gorgeous it would look just the right amount of feminine but if they were like high-waisted um, jeans they'd look it would look up to date and modern as well and um, just really really wearable and this jersey fabric is lovely it's a viscose spandex mix 
um, but it's not one of those viscose jerseys that's really sort of silky and shiny um, it is really silky and soft to touch but it's not shiny it's more like a matte cottony sort of um, looking jersey um, but I just think it'd be really nice to wear look how well it would work for those sleeves on that top it's just got loads of movement and drape um, so yeah I've got to got to make myself one of those I'm super excited about that idea and I'm just currently making a pair of jeans and I've got a simple t-shirt that I'm making after that but I think I'm gonna have to make one of those bad boys as well to go with um, my jeans as well so that's the next trend then as i mentioned earlier we've still got lots of peasant dresses about we've got the maxi peasant dresses like the wilder gown which you can get on our site but also lots of knee length midi um peasant dresses as well which i thought were nice for spring you know we've been covered up all winter sometimes it's nice to get the old pins out <laughs> once the spring comes round and just feel a bit more free and like you know wear some different things i'm sick of covering up by the time it gets this time of year um so i spotted lots of like knee length again with those sort of pretty frilly details ruffles that kind of thing um and the pattern i thought you could use to create this look is another one of the new mccall's patterns the new mccall's patterns are amazing they're fantastic um they're all on our website so you should get on and have a look so they've done like a rebrand and everything it's super exciting um but the one i chose yeah was 8032 which is a knee length dress there's um options on the sleeve for like little frills and ruffles there's even an option for a really super cute little frilly neckline as well which i just thought was gorgeous there's the option for a ruffled hem as well which is massively massively on trend and popular at the moment um so yeah it looks like a really great pattern but again quite wearable because it's not overly girly you know there are the options for the ruffled hems um but the rest of the pattern it's quite sort of straightforward it's got waist starts and bust starts so I think you could get a really nice fit on that on the bodice as well and then quite a full skirt so I think I could wear this um probably with trainers I've bought myself a pair of bright white crazy white trainers um and I think if I put my trainers on with that and my denim jacket I would just wear that day to day um and the fabric I thought would work really well for that as I mentioned I saw lots of sort of ditzy type floral prints um, I think this Hermione fabric would be really pretty for that. So it's a John Caldor polyester fabric um, with pink and black flowers. And I just thought that would work really nicely for that pretty dress. And then you could yet yeah, add a bit of a sort of masculine um, twist to it with some trainers, some chunky white trainers, or perhaps um, when it's a bit colder, some black ankle boots and a leather jacket just to give it that modern sort of twist. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about that one as well. Really want to make that. And then the other trend that I saw, I looked at trousers and what's in this season for trousers. So very much high waisted, cropped again, um, sort of straightish legs, but not skinny. They're, they're sort of the legs are getting a bit wider on jeans and trousers at the moment. So lots of culottes and that kind of thing around again. We've got loads and loads of patterns for all these looks as well, guys. If the ones I've chosen aren't your bag, there's plenty on the website to choose from. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting to see the jeans trend starting to change. I'm just in the middle of making a pair of ginger jeans, which I have made made skinny but I'm quite keen to get on and have a go at the dawn jeans which is a Megan Nielsen pattern there's lots of different options with these you can make shorts um, you can make like flared jeans you can make straight leg jeans and then um, I think you can make a skinny jean as well let me just have a quick look so there's a tapered leg jean a straight leg jean a wide leg jean and a short um, so yeah and you can crop them and they're high waisted um, and I just think yeah they are very much the look the look of jeans that's around right now so I think that would be a fun project to have a go at and the fabric I would use for that is this lovely indigo denim um, which is on our website it's DWRS0006 um, but I'll put the link below so you can find which one I've suggested um, so it's quite a sort of medium to heavyweight denim um, which I think would work well for those jeans it's a lovely indigo colour but we've got some other colours and um, we've got quite a good range of denim on the site at the moment so get on and have a look at those um, and then finally the other look I wanted to mention which I think super wearable um, 
is there were lots of button down camis button down blouses we've got loads of lovely patterns that you could use to um create that look um i chose the button down cami because i remember those being really in last year and thinking they look lovely tucked into a pair of shorts or jeans um and i just think it's a nice thing to have in your wardrobe a cami you can dress it up you can dress it down you can wear it under things um cardigans jackets you know they've i've got loads of camis i wear them all the time in the spring and the summer so the pattern I chose was the good old Ogden Cami by True Bias. I've made this before myself. Um, so the, it's not a button down cami top though. It is just a plain cami top. So you could just create the normal plain cami top if you wanted to. Um, I've made one and I loved it. I thought it was a fantastic pattern. Um, it's a nice and high at the front. It comes into a V and then it drops, dips down at the back. So it feels quite sexy, but you're not revealing everything every time you bend over it. I think it's a really well cut pattern um, but I thought it would be really easy to just add a false button band on the front of it as well like you wouldn't even have to create real buttons and buttonholes just put a false button band on the front and sew some buttons on and you'd have that button down look um, and the fabric I chose to make that with was this lovely I told you the cornflower type shades of blue were massive they were everywhere when I was doing my sort of trend spotting um, and I thought this beautiful viscose fabric would work really really well for an Ogden cami and be bang on trend nailing the cornflower blue nailing the polka dots and nailing the um, button down or cami top as well and as you can see there's loads of movement and fluidity in this beautiful beautiful viscose fabric so I hope you've enjoyed that as much as I have really all I want to do now is run home and get on my sewing machine and get cracking on all of these um, but I hope you enjoy making them as well um, if, as I said at the start of the video the links to everything I've talked about today they're all below I will make the pin board public as well so you can get on there and have a look at um, my inspiration and ideas and I'll try and remember to put all the patterns and fabrics on there as well um, but the best thing to do really is just get on the links below and get on our website and have a look around so I hope you're full of inspiration look Looking forward to spring like me if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and i'll look forward to seeing you next time